Howdy y'all, welcome to Sam's Whiskey Bar, I am Mr. Sam. Man, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time solo, and I was talking to my buddy AJ that helps me out with these, and he told me the other day, This some good whiskey, this some good whiskey. You like whiskey, I like whiskey, let's drink whiskey. That this Wheel Horse 101 Rye is the best rye he has ever had. He has not had the Wild Turkey 101, I have had neither. So we're going to put that to the test in a little blind here. Stick around and see which one of these I like better. So my wife's up cooking right now. She's cooking dinner. And I don't know if you guys that drink whiskey get this, but when your wife's cooking and all that food gets in the air, your nose on your whiskey changes. I get a, I get a lot of the food coming through when I nose a whiskey while my wife is cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and pour me a couple of these right here and mix these up before she gets to cooking too much. These are some Visky Crystal glasses I'm using to pour these in. Go ahead. You can send me a sponsor, Visky. It's all right. I'll take it. I got Bougie Bees sponsor. Thank you, Bougie Bees, for your sponsorship. Y'all go to Facebook. Check out Bougie Bees. Buy you some honey. The season is almost over, so get it now. All right, so I've got these two ryes, this Wild Turkey 101 rye and this Wheel Horse 101 rye poured. Um, I've got the bottoms of the glasses marked WH and WT so I can check to see what's what when I'm done t testing these, trying them. I'm just going to spin them around here while I talk, lose track of what's what, and I've already lost track, but I'm going to keep on spinning. I think Wild Turkey's in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Never been there, but I believe it's Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. And I think they started making rise in the late 50s, 1950-something. Um, Wheel Horse is rather new, but they do produce and bottle their own whiskey. And I want to say it's Owensboro, Kentucky that they are out of. Both of these are 101. When Mr. AJ told me, hey, Sam, this Wheel Horse 101 rye is the best rye. Thing I have tried in a long time. It's delicious. It's definitely the best rye I've ever had. I said, ding, ding, ding. That's got to be the bullshit bell, right? Because I've had some damn good ryes. You're telling me it's better than Sagamore? You're telling me it's better than the rare breed rye? You're, I mean, Rittenhouse is even good. I mean, come on. And they're, So we got a $25 rye in this wild turkey right here. That's what I paid for this, 25 bucks. And I paid 29 and change, we'll call it 30 bucks. This wild turkey is five dollars cheaper than this wheel horse. So hey, let's I thought, why not? It's Friday. Can do a fresh crack Friday. I can try these dudes out and start this weekend out right. And I'm glad you guys are here with me to start this weekend out right. I appreciate you guys. I got a whiskey giveaway going on right now this month, guys. Go ahead and jump over, look for it. I'll put a link in this somewhere to where you can go and win yourself an early times or a well of reserve not just an early times the plastic cap anyways like i said i have lost track of these a long time ago i can't tell by the color what's what this is truly a blind not a double blind because i know what they are so a double blind would be where you don't know what they are and you try to figure it out. A blind is you know what they are, you mix the glasses up, and then you try to figure out, or at least figure out which one you like best. What I like to do is give it a... Whoa! I'm not as good as swirling with my left as my right, apparently. I just spilled whatever this is. Off the nose, I would say the glass in my right hand is the Wheel Horse 101, and this is the Wild Turkey 101. Now let's go to the palate. Wow, that is damn good. And I think this is the wheel horse off the nose. I'm not getting a lot of wild turkey taste, which I'm expecting to come through with the rye. Wow, I get something really good on the one to my right. I don't like to give the normal tasting notes, but if I find something unique, I will definitely throw it out there or something that just stands out that's normal. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is definitely wild turkey. It just got that spice, that kick to it I, in, the, in the smell. Yeah, if that's not wild turkey, I'm going to hang up the old bourbon clubs, going to throw the old bourbon clubs in the trash and find a different game. I'm pretty sure this is wild turkey. Let's just go ahead and find out. Oh, you know what? I'm too old to just find out without glasses. Hold on just a second. I was freaking wrong. I was freaking wrong. Holy shit, did I pour them in the wrong glass? 
It's wild turkey. Holy crap. God, what did I bet? Did I bet something that, that I, what would I, I'm going to have to go back and watch the video and edit this because I might have bet my firstborn child that this was wild turkey. Oh, I don't get apple very often on a, on a rye. That was odd. Today is a good day. Both my nostrils are working. Usually, I prefer my left nostril. Do you guys have a nostril you prefer? Do you prefer a nostril when you're smelling bourbon? I prefer my left nostril. <laughs> I, I, that is so weird. But I, I get more out of my left than my right. I don't want to judge them off the first sip. And I already looked to see what they are. Damn it. Okay, for being a 101, both the same proof, the wild turkey, to me, for my palate, is much more drinkable. The wheel horse definitely has a little bit more of a ride kick. I'm finding some butterscotch and some stuff in that wild turkey that's just, it's a, it's tickling the right spots. But man, that wheel horse, I'm impressed. I thought that was the wild turkey. How many times am I going to say that? Wow. I will say that the wheel horse has a better nose to it. Or maybe it's just that I'm more used to it. It's a little more stingy on the nose. It gives me a little bit more. Not ethanol steamy, but rice spice steamy. Wow, this is crazy. I was, uh, guys, I was 100% sure that this was the damn wheel horse. Now that I'm getting into it more and I've had a few sips, this, this is definitely the wild turkey over here that I thought was wheel horse. This is definitely the wheel horse that I thought was wild turkey. But as I have drank sips back to back, and I'm taking little bitty sips, Definitely hit the wheel horse more than I've hit the wild turkey. The wheel horse is starting to win me over, AJ. I trust AJ's palate. His palate and my palate align a lot. We're neck and neck on what we like. Hey, y'all. This some good whiskey. This some good whiskey. You like whiskey? I like whiskey. Let's drink whiskey. But I'm going to have to agree with AJ. This wheel horse is really really freaking good i've got the toasted 101 of this wheel horse and i i really like it but i'll be honest with you when i was buying this wild turkey 101 i just knew i just knew in my heart that that wild turkey that thunder chicken that big old was gonna blow this horse out of the freaking water but no i'm gonna have to go with the wheel horse y'all I like this wheel horse more than I like the wild turkey. What in the hell's going on in this world? Y'all catch me next time.